Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In between episodes here, I've done what I said I was gonna do in between the episodes and that is sleep. That's why I have more HP and stamina, but that's all I've done. So today we're gonna keep exploring this stable or start exploring it rather. Because we, we just came here in the end of the last episode. We have a Korok over there, we have... The princess voice here, and then we also have some dude playing flute over here. Maybe it's not a dude. I'm not sure. We're, we're searching for 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 uh, this one. We're searching for a person called Piper. Are you Piper? Bana. Yes, need something, sir. I can tell you about the area if that's what you're after. We have lots of happy horses roaming free around Highland Stable, so if you need one, you're in the right place. And you can take it north or south or wherever you like going. I can recommend some scenic spots to visit if you like, sure. Great, let's get scenic. The first suggestion has to be in Stable nearby. It's called Lakeside Stable. You'll find it if you take the road towards the east at the edge of Lake Floria. From there, my suggestions... My next suggestion is nearby. Go further east, turn south at the ocean, and you'll reach a resort town. Lurden Village, it's called. There we've already been. Uh, lay them on me. I've got plenty more scenic spots to recommend. Just say the word. Lay them on me. Alright, here's a location that's been a mystery long as anyone can remember. A good spot for true adventure. To reach it, first ride north until you enter a thickly wooded forest. Then travel east until you cross Floria River. And there go immediately north into the rainforest. What the hell? To reach it first right north until you enter a thickly wooded forest. I was thir first thinking the the Croco forest in the north, but that's that's a bit too far, I think. Then travel east until you cross Floria River and then go immediately north into a rainforest. Ooh. You will find yourself what folks have long called the Sonai Ruins. Very old ruins, very old. That's actually pretty interesting. I can't imagine a better place for steeping yourself in nature's beauty and ancient history at the same time. In the air above, the Sonai Ruin is a jet black thundercloud that's been there since the upheaval. Aww. You can see it from here, in fact, and I'm seeing things. Is there something inside the cloud? Yeah, I saw it last time I saw those stormy clouds as well. That's a great scenic spot to visit well, or would be, uh, but there's no horses that can get you up there. The best you can do is gaze at it from below. <laughs> I got plenty more scenic spots, yeah, oh. give me one more. My third scenic spot is Lake Hyla in the northwest. Your horse shouldn't go in the lake, of course, but you too can take a thrilling ride across Bridge of Hyla. One problem though, I heard an unsettling rumor, sounds like there's a big monster camping out on the bridge. If you're scared of monsters as I am, maybe keep your distance. Uh, give me one more spot, please. Alright, ready? I saved my favorite scenic spot for last. Though it's kind of big to be called a spot, it's the southern coastline. Picture this, you're on your horse riding from Martha's Landing to Como's shoreline and then Puffer Beach. You heard the waves slapping against the beach, feel the cool sea breeze cutting through your clothes, while your horse hooves pound faster and faster against the ground. <laughs> ah, there's nothing better. On a horse, you'll be able to outrun any monster that spot you too. Except last time I rode to the Puffer Beach, there was a swarm of flying monsters waiting for me. They came screeching out of the cave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now she said something, but I was I was getting bored already. So this is sug Ooh. We almost have everything for that, but we we don't unfortunately. Okay. The princess voice. Oh. Hey there, partner. Did you head this way after hearing the rumors? Even without wings, you traveled all the way out here. That shows some serious report spirit. Well, let me give you the scoop. Some folks have heard a voice near here that sounds like Princess Zelda. I heard the chirps and warbles from my little birds and headed straight here, but something is fishy. For starters, the strange voice is crowning from f Furl Plain to the northwest, night of the night of the night. Leave the arms, leave the arms. Uh, at least that's what I heard. I didn't get too close. Uh, Got out there fast. Felt like a curse just blowing through the wind. No sir, not gonna think about it. Anyways, all the travelers who've heard the eerie voice have gotten spooked by it. Uh, they've been throwing their weapons down the well and then running away as fast as they can. 
Could the voice really belong to Princess Zelda? She's not usually so haunting. All we can do is seek out the truth, partner, even if it's a little scary. That's true. Mm. Hey partner, you're finding this all a little scary, aren't you? Can't blame you one bit if you are. Me? Not at all. Totally fine. Just worried about ah. you is all. What I'm saying is, I think we should investigate the story together. I think we should leave at night. I'll be waiting right here, so just come to me and get and get me when night falls. Okay, so we have to wait for night for that one. But we need to find the... Who are you? Krisha, a special edition now. Huh? I hope it isn't anything bad. Princess Zelda Sidon, okay. And you're not... Do you have any information about that? By any chance? Uh, I don't want to lodge. Nope. I wanna talk to you about the missing person. Gr oh, Piper. You. Good grief, where did Piper go? I'm not sure. Hey, can you believe it? My friend Piper lit part of the field outside of... on fire, flowers and all. He's always trying to get a laugh out of me. But that wasn't funny. What was he thinking? He said he was about to show me a glowing tree. I mean, that sounds nice, but when I saw what he was about to do, I told him no. Still he did it, and that happened. And now he vanished into thin air. Well, given it's Piper, I bet he's only hiding somewhere, playing his flute. So they... want me to hear a flute? <laughs> Weirdo. The only lead is that someone has heard the sound of a flute near the stable in Faron. Ah, I think I hear a flute here. <laughs> here it is. What up, dude? Ah yeah, so I bet you climbed up here with me for uh, some good reason. Need something, or hey, did you come to listen to my performance? Are you a stable trotter? Aha, uh -huh. you met the stable trotters? I have, I have. A while ago, but I have. Uh, wow, the troop is touring again. And they want all of us musicians back. That's great. But first I have something to do here. I can't go back to the stable trotters until I take care of it. Come on, let's move this down where it's safe. I need to tell you what happened here. What happened, not that you probably haven't heard already, is that there was a fire in the field. Yeah, right on this spot. This burned patch around us. I see. There was some flowers here before. It was all my fault, an accident, uh, but still my fault. You see, I have a friend who lives at the, this table. Her name is Haite. Maybe you've met her. She's been asking people if she could see a glowing tree. It's just something from a picture book. You know, it's not real, but she really wishes it was. I promised her I'd show her one. Not my brightest idea, uh, given they don't exist. And then I was stuck. So I thought I'd just... So I thought I'd use just a little tree and a little fire and making a glowing tree real quick, that's Aww. all. That's how things got burned here. But I was only thinking of my promise to Haiti. Besides, it didn't even work. I would still like to surprise her with a glowing tree somehow, but safely. So now I'm collecting fireflies. I only need 10 more sunset fireflies and then I'll have enough to make a whole tree glowing. That will make Kite a smile. Huh? Do you, do you have some firefly with you? I'm sure I see a glow coming from your pouch. Uh, do I have 10 of them? Ah, really you have them? I have, nice. Uh, with your fireflies and some I've also collected, I can attract even more fireflies and then... I can make the glowiest of glowing trees. Mm. While you're helping, can you do me one more favor? This will only work once the firefly starts glowing, so I'd like you to set to bring height to this spot once nightfall f night falls. Oh, and I want it to be a big surprise. You'll give it away if you say I'm working on this. Okay, see you both later. Okay, so now we have two reasons to wait for night. And are you the girl? Yeah. 
or guy. You're a nomad? No. Oh. Uh, uh. What did you want? Horsemanship skills. Ri riders gotta pull a trailer while competing for the fastest. Okay. Uh. Not right now. Not right now. Uh, oh. No, I don't wanna talk to you. I wanna uh. use this fire right here. To sit on and wait for night. And here I think... Rosa. Hello, mind if I ask you about something that troubled my thoughts? Have you perhaps seen a rather strange animal around here? Strange animal. That's right. I was a stocky... It was a stocky animal that was wider than a horse and had strange horns. But not like a cow or a goat. Oh, and it had tusks that made beasts look a little brute. I saw the animal once in the forest off to the east. I rushed closer to get a good look, but it ran off by the time I got there. I never seen anything like it. I must say the whole experience was shocking. Some travelers passed through here from Lakeside Stable and they seen a similar animal. So maybe I'll find it again somewhere. To the east, huh? I guess. Yeah, with the lake of the horse cut. Probably some weird horses. Hi, it's you, right? Good evening. Paper isn't back, even though it's night. Honestly, where did it go? Hi, follow me, please. Huh? Alright, what's this all about? That's a bit sus. <laughs> Just trusting me. Come then. We have a funny thing to see over here. Nothing sus at all. Right here? Ah. That's a nice flute. Wow, that is so much prettier than the one I s once saw in a book. It's just like I see it in my dreams. <laughs> Thank you. I saw the best glowing tree ever. <laughs> I feel really happy. That's good. <laughs> happy. Did you hear that? Yep, finally happy. What a relief. I knew there was a bright smile in there somewhere. Good for height. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to take me more than that to keep her smiling. I need to do what I can to make sure that happens. I figured it out. I'm going back to the stable trotters. I'll get better and better at playing my flute. More fun, more amazing. Because if the crowds love my music, then Haiti will too. And she will always smile when she hears it. Well, anyway, thanks a lot. You helped me with all sorts of stuff. So you can have this if you want it. Nice. Big wow. party truffle. I'm heading out soon. If we meet again somewhere, my music is gonna make you green from ear to ear. I don't doubt you. So now we have an update on that quest. So now we're gonna go back later and I guess unlock the next... The next great fairy. Which is nice. Only heard at night, huh? Mm. A pretty great night, isn't it, partner? It's around the time the eerie voice has been heard from Furl Plain to the northwest. Oak says it's happened night after night after night. Could it really be Princess Zelda, though? And if it is, why is, why is she doing it here? Uh, I guess the only way to find out is to check for ourselves. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, we can do this, partner. Let's head for the Furl Plain to the northwest. Follow me. Can I fly also, please? Keep the... Ah! Did you hear that, partner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's the voice, all right, and it's close by. Is it Princess Zelda, though? Might might be, but where it's where it's coming from? My legs won't move, my wings won't flap. I duck out of here if I could, but I can't. He's super scared, though. Okay. Leave the urms, leave the urms. If no, do you? So I guess this is the correct way to go. Leave the urms, leave the urms. If not, do you harm? Ah, it's the well here. Leave the arms, leave the arms. For if not, it will do you harm. So leave the arms. Are they talking about weapons? I'm not gonna drop all my weapons. Oh, here's a lot of weapons. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Fear it not, you will stay warm. Also, people have dropped weapons down here because they have thought they needed to drop the, the weapons. How, when did you get here? Do you need something from me? Leave the arms? What are you talking about? I wasn't singing anything remotely like that. I never sung a song with those lyrics. Seek the storm, seek the storm. Is that maybe what you heard? Is that what I was thinking? You also heard, for if not, I'll do you harm. Leave your arms or I kill you. Haha. <laughs> what kind of non sickle song is that? Fear it not, you will stay warm. Those are the lyrics I was singing, and if you put it all together, seek the storm, seek the storm, fear it not, you will stay warm. It's a song about a cute little fox who is proud of their warm fur coat, and they chase storms since they don't get cold. Anyway, I'm not trying to cause trouble or anything, but I don't think it's entirely my fault if people misheard things earlier. I just like how my voice sounds here. Prettier, more refined. Hmm. It sounds, sounded fine to me, but everyone else is hearing dire threats. Leave the arms. I guess that explains why weapons kept getting thrown in the well every morning. They could be dangerous, so I collected them all over there. I got no interest in them, so feel free to help yourself. Alright! Hey! That's you down there, partner. What's going on? Tell me everything. Oh. Out with it, partner. What did you discover? Is Prison Zelda down there? Eh? It's just someone er, singing in a well. She's just practicing. Hmm, I see. Mm. And her voice echoed off the wo well walls, making it sound like Princess' voice. Acoustics are strange. And that's... And that the same distortion made the lyrics she was singing sound more like threats to everyone who heard her. Ha! <laughs> huh. So the mystery is solved. Now I know why it, I had all those goosebumps. I sensed one heck of a story coming my way. Thank you for the help, partner. We worked together on seven of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Getting to the bottom, blah blah blah. Here's your money, thank you. Will you give me something else? Ooh. I almost forgot, partner. Tracy has been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. Ah, I was thinking it was the gear. Okay, I head on back to the office. Ah, bye bye. So long, so long. We're gonna jump down the well once again to to take a look at the weapons here. Those are actually pretty good. And that's. That's a crazy... Oh, it's a... Uh... Okay. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop... I guess we're gonna drop that as well. Take that, take that. What more do we wanna drop? this one I guess that's enough <laughs> and if I talk to you again do you say anything else ah. I'm gonna keep practicing here you do that
Okay. With those two quests done... We had a few things to do here, actually. We had the... Floria... We had those things that she, the girl told us about. Let's go back to her and see what she said. Scenic spots. Okay. Stable nearby. Lakeside stable. You find it... If you take the road towards the east at the edge of Lake Floria. Lake Floria, Lake Floria, Lake Floria, Lake Floria. Lake Floria. Okay, so a stable is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And did we have actually anything close by there? We had a shrine, but we haven't gone to the shrine. Huh? Also, this place we need to check out. Why not just bring out Yanni and, and take the scenic route for once, huh? Why not just fly around? Uh, take horse. Let's take Yanni. I skipped all that text. I think he told me about the... Um, about the horse god down to the south. Uh, not south, to the east here. There he is. That looks like a real challenge, actually. We're going in here, I think. The hell is this? That's a sus looking three. Three. That's really sus looking. I would be shocked if this is the intended way to, to do this. But I have to try. Maybe it doesn't even have a use case. No, you can't even... You can't even do it, huh? So what the hell is this thing? Is it just a bugged out tree, or...? Because you can't cut it down, even? That's weird. That's one more, huh? It must have some use case. I'm gonna stop at this dude here. Say what they wanna say here. Must capture it somehow. It's huge and impossible. Oh. Hey there. It's a remarkable day when we see a traveler all the way out here. So I got a pretty good guess what brought you. You're searching for... The giant white stallion, right? No, no, no. Uh, if this fellow is of the similar mind, he's searching for more... More than that, out here in the wilds. There's no doubt he's really in the search for the horse god. Giant white oh. stallion. Oh, yes, my cur curiosity about this highly notable horse has drawn me here. 
I've seen it deep within this valley. I can verify that it lives up to the description. It's it's a gi it's giant. Uh, it's white and it's a stallion, extremely rare. The latest talk in our field of study calls such rare treat a mutation. We're doing research into the ecology of all the wild animals in this area. Oh, that such a rare horse exists, we want to study this creature and see its unusual traits close up. But as you can guess, the stallion is very strong. That marvelous creature refuses to have anything to do with us. It escaped us every time. It won't be tamed. Yes, yes, I know. Our research into the giant white st stallion is paramount. But if there's a horse god somewhere, I really want to know about it. Horse god? There's been a strange talk of a g for a good while about a horse god. One that lives here among us. I believe it's more than just a legend, or at least I hope so. It said that this god can bring horses back from it. Yeah, we know where the horse god is. But I want the stallion though. Oh. They continued the talk here. You have come here to look for the... Horse god Melania? What did you say? Do you mean to tell me you met the horse god? Oh, hmm, I see. Yes, yes. I don't believe it. The legend is real. And it's true. That the god can res resurrect a horse from the dead. Aww. Well then, I can't help thinking... Shall I eat you? Those words are worrisome. How much can we begin to trust a god that says something like that? <sighs> hmm. As much as I wanted to meet this god, I'd say that we must be cautious. Mm. Right. Given we haven't captured the giant white stallion yet, and haven't seen it close up, that should be our priority. Agreed, yes. The local habitat of the giant white stallion gives us plenty to research at this time. Okay, so let's go and find the giant stallion then. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess sneak clothes can be good to bring. And also, isn't it smarter to approach from, from above here? If I can just climb somewhere here. This is a good climbing spot. So here we can run for a bit to refresh the stamina. There we go. Also a Kuroko up here, huh? That's nice. Oh my god, did I tip it off? That's there still. Okay. If we just approach it like this. I think we need more stamina. There we go. Now we have it. The big dude. Yanni, you will never be compared to this. You see what I got? So giant. Yup. What on Straya, wake up. Whoa, that horse. That must be. There's no mistake in it. That's the giant white stallion we've been trying to research. Seeing in it, seeing it this close up, that horse is just so intimidating. It's so large. I feel so small. Words fail me. One thing I can say, which certainly that's a mutation is in play here. What a discovery. Whoa. A horse of this size. Capturing it must have been hard. And riding it next to impossible. Young man, you are remarkable. Ah, it wasn't that 
Impossible. It was pretty easy, actually. So let's go and register this dude. There we go. You don't want to run? There we go. There we go. Now we got ourselves a good horse. Oh, wow, what a splendid horse. Do you want to register it? Yes, please. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Damn. That strength, though. Yes. Sorry, I forgot to read here. Thanks. Oh, your horse. No, never mind. I must be mistaken. Yeah, that must be it. Huh? No one would just ride up here astride the giant white stallion. Nope, no way. Unless it was a dream. As you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point to your pony points. Ooh. Then I have to register a lot of horse. Oh, it looks like you got some points saved up. Yes, yes. Can I enter a name? What should the name be? We have one Yanni. Umami. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's call it Umami. Why not? Big horse. Blah, 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 blah. You can wait there, horse. I'm gonna take my reward. Hey! Ah! Ah! For 23 points, that's fitting also. You get a knight saddle and a knight saddle and a knight bridle. Here you go. Thank you, thank you. For three more points, you get an extra wagon saddle and something else. Okay. Let's take this horse for a spin, huh? Are you one of those cooks for the army? I hope Captain Flaxel and the squads are all right. Yes. Oh hey, things are pretty dicey ahead. Captain Flaxel's monster control crew squad is executing an operation there. Where are they? Ah, it's on that. Uh, there's a pirate ship moored on the shore of Menuat River to the west. But never fear. Okay, we will go and help them. I got some food and they need help. Oh, sorry. I don't need to talk to you. There we go. Is it also well here? But that's the well we was in before, yeah, yeah. And we need to help that dude also. But that will be after the fight, I guess. Here's a Kuroko. A lot of things here that needs my attention. Let's come out. Put a map here. For the Kuroko. Uh, I was expecting the the crew to be here as well. Where are they? Doesn't really matter, we can really... We can secure this by ourselves, I think. No worries. Um, 
most used some type of eye. I really need to go and farm eyes, so that's something I need to do. Oh, is it that pirate ship? Oh well, let's just clear this first then. Who cares? Okay, we're gonna go on the silver dude first. Maybe it was a bad plan. We have up here. We're dead. Oh, here's a big dude. Can you fall down, maybe? <laughs> guess you're just gonna take damage until you die. Uh, I guess I'm gonna... Change those two. Always nice. Oh, no, no. Oh, the silver dude is still alive. Bring out one more of them. There we go. Okay. Let's go to the horse and then approach the... The pirate ship, which is the correct target here. Silver dude of those are not nice. Let me just gain some height to make this fight a bit easier. First, kill you. That's a good beginning. One, two, three, four. So this falls on four hits, which is good. Oh. Ah. Nice. Can we get the loot from up here? Because that shield looked good. So where are the people who need help? Ah, here they are. What up, dudes? I'm here to help you. You think you're thinking about going in there alone? Sure, you'll be 
It'll be harder to spot in the rain, but I'm still not sure it's a good idea. Hmm. Oh, hey, I thought I recognized you from somewhere. Don't you remember me? Come on, we chatted back at Lookout Landing. Anyway, let me introduce myself again. I'm the captain of Squad 3 of the Monster Control Crew. Name's Flexel. Nice to meet you. We were just on our way to rough up the monsters over here. But the bridge to the ship collapsed, so we don't have a way to board it. We can give those uh, monsters a real weapon if we can just get that bridge fixed. Okay. And let me help you with the bridge. There we go. Hey, did you just... I sure did. You did it. You fixed the bridge for us. Incredible. I can't thank you enough. I guess the rest is up to us now. Okay, you lot. Are you ready? On our honor as members of the monster control crew, we'll t take down every last one of those fiends. Hey! Victory will be ours. Okay. So how do I want to approach this? Let them aggro first, I think. Then you can just perhaps glide in here, yeah. Oh. Wow. Eat this. Of course, freaking... That's not so good. Let me eat something. I think I need some blunt weapons here if I have any. Or actually spears are nice. Down. Throw this on him for the crit. Maybe take out the master sword. We haven't used it yet. To... I felt that. No. Yeah, I felt that. I was just gonna say I'm not. I should not sp just spam like this. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, they are... Oh my god. Let's click. They are already on the boat, huh? Okay. Boom. Don't start with me. Shot me. Boom. Bring out the master sword. This time I'm not gonna fail with lack of eating. Oh, 
that should be enough. Take the loot here before I miss it. No, that's such a heavy hit. Same. Yeah, you can stop pushing. <laughs> okay. That's classic. Uh, boom. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then run away. Too many people around me here, with all the sages and everything. There we go, finally. should be enough. This costed the whole monster sword. First, we have to treat the wounded. Then, as soon as everyone is okay, we'll get together and plan our next move. As for you, Link, you deserve thanks. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yes, you can. <laughs> you really surprised me. Taking care of the bridge is one thing, but your power on the battlefield is awe-inspiring. Oh. Oh hey, I still got to give you your reward. Thank you, thank you. We have to train, we have to get stronger, we have to get ready for what's next. Uh, the plan is to head northwest to the south Tab Tabnata <laughs> snowfield in Hebra. If we happen to cross path in the future, I hope you consider fighting alongside us again. Okay, where was that? South something snowfield in Hebra. <laughs> South something... Something in Hebrew. <laughs> Bring peace to Hebrew. Ah, now we have it as a quest. Nice. That is also something we need to go back to. We have loot as well we need to take before we leave. Like these ones aren't super nice on spears. Nice. And also one here. Nice, nice. And we can leave. While we're here, we should just keep exploring the beach side here. Then we get to the cave that we've already been to, which is nice. You're still a mad horse. What the hell is that? Ha <laughs> ha! 
This spot here needs to have some Kuroko somewhere. That's one that needs help. Where do you need to go, huh? Only that way, huh? Like, I like the new horse we got, but this is just so much more convenient. Also, I really hope. I'm not sure what I was, was gonna say there. Uh, put that on the front. Something like that. Oh, we don't need to talk again. Oh. Always forgets. Dismiss that. That's the cave entrance I was in before. There we go. My car is still really nice. It feels like something must exist down here. This place looks a bit cool, with all the coral corals. This also Kuroko? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What the hell is this? Or should you attach something with weight. Okay. Just keep it there. How many do you think we need? I would reckon maybe three or four. Let's make it five just for... Safety. I think this must be enough. And my car went where? There. Something more must exist of value here. Let's just go up to the top here. Oh, now that one is also out. Then we have a different priority, actually. Because that's the... Lightning dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's where? There is one tower. That tower is that one. I guess that's the closest one then. I know I'm a bit all over the place at the moment, but <laughs> when we see the dragon, we need to take our chance here. And it went, there it is. And also it's good to know that the dragon is, it's here, it, it lives. But then we know where we should watch out for the temp, the last like great fairy. Maybe it's that actually. That's a bit sus.
Also that sky island looks really nice. A lot of chasms here as well. Also why the hell are enemies this far up? So is it fine to land on? Yeah. Well, so this is an other Drake than the one we were at. Four. Because if we check the album here. Under monsters, maybe. So, Dinral, Light Dragon. The hell? I have no clue. Oh, it's going down also. That's no good. And we need to act quickly. There we go. You don't fall down, please. Oh. Change. That's fine. And that's fine. That's good. Farosh Claw. So what was the claw I found before then? That's a bit weird. Oh well, I'm glad we caught it before it went down again. Something tells me it's, it should be there, or maybe even... ...and actually be there as well. So if it's go down there, then it must go up. Maybe in... Somewhere here? I'm not sure. We should check this place out though, because because I have a feeling it might actually be there. And that's the blue one. Oh. I'm also curious what's happening when the dragon goes down. Will the dragon be like, can you go to dragon from underneath? Why are you here? Whoa, <laughs> you jumped far. <laughs> that is this sneaky river snail. Something I've never seen, huh? Also, we should take a pick on this. this bug to take a picture on. Thank you. Oh my god. Are you done soon? Yeah. 
you, thank you. And why have I done a star just up here? You should go and check that out. Oh, we've been here like really early in the game. I think I remember now. Here's nice, a lot of shrooms. It's some type of Kuroko here, I think. I think the plan is to like uh, glide down. So, let me first destroy that. No, 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 no. No, don't go away from me. Are you joking me? Please stay there. Let's try this out. enemies was it all silver dudes only the, f the first one oh my god okay so we're going there huh so I guess it's easiest to just quick travel here looking at the time this is everything we will have time for today if you have enjoyed today's episode please consider liking the video and also subscribe so you don't miss out on the future episodes this has been 23 i will see you in the next video bye bye